Greetings once more mortals, why is my army out and welcome back to the Song of Six being sung for you once more maybe, who knows, why is my army out? Oh yes, I was dividing, dividing, deciding, are we under attack? We might be under attack, uh, am I, are my troops moving? I think we're under attack. Don't quote me on that, because I'm not sure. It's been a few days. I'm obviously re recording a lot of stuff before New Year. Well, it is now New Year. The first episode should have been released by the time I've recorded this. And I don't know what's going on, but I think we're under attack. Maybe? Who knows? Either way, the city is currently growing. As you can see, we are expanding the growth area. We are actually now joining it up. We actually have a lot more people joining me, because I'm trying to make my people happier in their lives. I know I don't always care about these people, because let's face it, they're idiots, but they're useful idiots, and a useful idiot demands a house. Now what we've currently got going on of course is the big bath house here, which should have more people in it. We obviously have the hearth area for people who are tired, we have the huge trade depot, currently mostly bringing in food. We obviously have the dormitory in the barracks for the gate guard, we have a dead guy who likes showing up, of course you do Steve Always after the attention, aren't you, Steve? Just stay dead. We obviously have a kitchen, a tavern, we have a flat house. I think we need more kitchens and taverns, but that's a future thing. And obviously we have a beginning of a fishery and the farmlands. Now we also have a very, very basic warehouse. Warehouse is mostly for fish, obviously for a little bit of food and supplies. Mainly so we can bring it in. Obviously this has to be destroyed, because we haven't yet built the outer area. Now... With that all being said, we of course need to keep on going, growing and expanding. I want to have at least a thousand people, because there's an achievement! And achievements are the only reason I ever want these people to live. Otherwise I'd be down to five people yelling at each other in a corner. That would be entertainment. Bum fights. The corner situation. But yes, um, we have onyx, we have sheep. So yeah, we need to keep on expanding and growing. I'm still not entirely sure I'm happy with this flat house. I think we need a yet another kitchen, but I think we also need more food. It's an issue, food, currently. Like, we have a lot of it, according to this. 13,000 13, fish! But we just don't have much in the way of any other supplies. Children of battle gear, though. So, yeah. We need to keep on growing, expanding. I do think we're under attack, but I don't know where, why, or how. So what I'd like to do while I'm talking a lot and not editing things, oh, I don't want to muster, is actually, how do I edit this? There's the edit button. I've forgotten everything, here it is, okay. Let's drop you down to, let's drop these down, each squad wants to be 50. For now. I want more small regiments, I want a lot more smaller regiments, that's what I'm after. So that should give us greater choice, so we can actually move them around obviously a lot more. Now, whether that's the good situation or a bad situation, I don't know. Usually when I play stuff like Total War, I have significantly larger squads. But we'll have to see how this goes. Obviously we only have like 50 Dondorians, I don't want them to die, even though they are excellent troops for combat and use a vegetarian peaceful people. We're sending the vegetarians to fight in battle so my warriors can farm. <sighs> yeah, it's, it's, it's the wrong way around, but there you are. But yeah, we need to move around, we need our troops to do stuff, and we need to carry on preparing for the future. Which means more trees, more goods, goods, and of course, probably a lot more kitchens. Oh, we are under attack. Crawl the mercy to 25% of your goods, give them the tribute or fight for your life. So we are under attack. I was literally just reactivating the... It's attacking southeast. I was literally just reactivating the training rooms. Okay. All forces activate. So the only way to get your troops out of the field would be to um, basically get them back to the training room. If they're not in the training room, they just stay in the same squad. So we're going to have all five regiments here. We lose if the enemy gets to our throne room. So actually, Division 4 can stay here just in case. We lose if they get to the throne room. And now we get to see the military picking up equipment from our food store because that's what we're doing. Look at them go, and let's prepare for war. 
I do love watching armies form up. Look at that little guy. That's Steve again. You died, Steve. Stop asking for attention. Just walking through the lines. Who are you? How do I find out who you are? Tell me who you are, Steve. Oh, it's Red DF. Red Dwarf Fortress. Bloody hell, Dwarf Fortress. You just want your own bloody attention. We should have him killed. Now let's prepare for battle. They'll be here soon, maybe. Oh, here they are. Okay, they're moving up. Okay, this all forces move to here. Obviously, we have one regiment at the back. It's only uh, 44 men, but the enemy is sending 43 men. And I don't think they're armoured. Let's have a look. They're not armoured. What are you doing? They're carrying weapons. Are they just attacking me with fists? Yeah, sure. Let's see how well they do there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're going to do very well, guys. I'm very proud and I believe in you. What are they doing, swords? Okay, two squads are moving forwards. Three squads are moving forwards. And four squads are moving forwards. I turned up blood for extra blood in it. I'll be honest, I don't think the enemy is doing victory. It says Krull himself has escaped every time. Is Krull actually here? You know, could I find Krull? Also, I don't know how to keep my people alive after every battle, they all mysteriously die. There appears to be no way to keep them alive. Which is worrying. There is literally no way to keep your- look! Slade. Slade? Okay, these needs to be the enemies. But yeah, if you ignore all the dead people who died in battle, which appear to be the enemy, your people mysteriously die of injuries later too, which is worrying, to say the least. I'd like to be able to heal them somehow. But they will die. And it's usually because of you. Not me, you. This would give me 300 soldiers. And looks like the regiments are actually finalising now. So we have, uh, apart from the first regiment, every group has 50 in it, apart from the last one. So this should be good. The first reg regiment is always the Royal Guard. And this is 1st Battalion. Is it an A or an O? I'm going to say A. Okay, biggest situation we have is we need lots more water and food. So what we're going to do, of course, is carry on expanding. Once we have enough food and stuff, we can, of course, carry on going. Now, agriculture, like I say, it's not the best here. This doesn't have squareness. It's a literal square. 92% doesn't have the best output at all, which is an issue. But, you know, it'll have to do. And that's, of course, what we're aiming for. More food and supplies. Now, the entire frontal area of the air place will be farmland. It won't be the best farmland, but it will be farmland. Although, maybe we should have put it further away. What are these? These two away? So, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, the actual <laughs> statues will be going into the dirt. Oh, who cares? Ignoring the farms, obviously, the fact that, like, oh, there's the wild food. Ignoring the farms. What we actually need, according to this... Retirement age, I can, of course, rise it up. That's... Eh. Uh, okay. But, obviously, unburied corpses is a big one. I can probably do... Unburied with two R's. I can get rid of that dead easy. Or is a problem, we obviously need to get the orb. Lights, we can do that. Roads, still don't know. Fulfillment. The problem we've got, obviously, is food preference. These people are just eating fish. Lots and lots of fish. And they're vegetarians, so that's a problem. Rations, of course, will slowly go up as we get more things being done. We also need to get the hygiene and eating and stuff up. So this is going to take a lot of time. This is going to hit 300%, I think. So yeah, we need to get a lot more flat house, a lot more dormitories, a lot more chambers. So we need food, we need sleeping. And we need to bury the dead. Also, it's noisy, apparently. Also, they're very upset because of a lack of... That was a square! Oh, I upset the game so it also saves. So it could screw me over. That was a square and it said 93%. Anyway, we're going to very quickly put a graveyard here. I don't really care about these people.
But you know, if it makes them happy, we'll have a graveyard. We can have some flowers. To make it respectful. Even though I hate them. Yeah, you guys happy now? I've respected the hell out of your place. Even though I hate you. There we go. So yeah, we've got a respectful graveyard, we'll deal with that, we've got farms. But yeah, it mostly appears to be sleeping and food. And this lack of squareness. I don't know what to do about squareness, that's just a thing. Like, <sighs> noise appears to be mostly from the training room, that's not an issue. No, the kitchen doesn't make much noise, bathhouse probably does a little bit. So as long as we keep those away, people are fine. As you can see here, most of the noise is around here, which of course is affecting the basic dormitories, so we're going to have to move them. But that's what we were planning to do anyway, so we do need big sleeping areas, probably back here. Because of course this is the um, quarters near the gate, but it's meant to be the merchant's district. Do I really want the slum next to merchant's district? Hmm. Okay, so one of the biggest things we can of course do is all. We need to make this place awesome, which is where it obviously comes from. Who knows? So what we need, of course, is... Where's the ore from this? Is it this? What are these, then? Why are these green, but that's not green? Okay, the road gives a basic amount of ore. Obviously, we need to upgrade the rest of it. Looks like... I can't tell if the trees are the, are the things. Looks like trees are nice, but doesn't actually show. What is that, then? Is that harmony? I thought, oh, the trees are harmony. Do I care about harmony? There's harmony on this. We don't care about harmony. Okay. More statues. I'll meet you in a second after I've planted all the statues. Okay, I'm putting down statues and things. I'm not sure how it's going to look. As you can see, you've got a few statues and trees on the front. Some bigger ones around here. A couple outside the hearth park. Two outside the bathhouse. Or do I need some smaller ones here? I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing with this. Like, it's nice that we've got all that. And obviously the actual roads are vaguely helping. But the issue, of course, oh, of course, got is... Well, it's actually very easy to do. There's a lot of space so I can do a lot of stuff with it. Like, these big statues, amazingly green automatically. So, yeah, we've got time, we've got space. We've got 450 people. How's our military doing? Better. Half of our people are currently uh, training, by the way, so we have an issue currently doing stuff. But yeah, apart from if you ignore the training people, we have a lot of stuff going on. So we just need more statues to make people happier about life? Question mark? Alright. Also, currently looking at it, we're needing a lot more torches. So, torch placement and statue placement is going to be a pretty big one in this city. I'm not entirely sure the best place for either of those. I mean, looking at it, obviously I can do some more statues and things in the red areas, but the torches? What are we looking at? With five, my five people suddenly died. Quick, recruit more people. So, what are we looking at for light? Lightening. I mean, light's vaguely alright. Most of the road systems done. Obviously, I could probably place one here. But yeah, most of the road systems done. In fact, let's put some small torches. Let's put one there and uh, one there. Put small torches behind like the tree lines. So that's fine. Although, obviously, this area up here needs a bit more. Right now, it's got random things. Obviously, there's no real lights inside this place. So, maybe we need torches outside the buildings? Because people seem upset about being inside the buildings? I don't know. It's weird to me. Very weird to me. Put that there so it can shine the light through. Just like we've done over there. It's very weird. I don't quite know what's going on. Uh, I had to turn the military off. There just wasn't enough people building. Like, we have so much going on. Like, this bathhouse. As you can see, none of the statues are being done. On the bright side, however, we have a graveyard. With three people working there. And no one dying to get in. Never mind, I lied. Three people have died to get in. Was it the people working there? Did they take their job seriously? Ah, uh, who knows. Well, we have... <sighs> veg, we have, and one fruit. Wow. 
Actually, let's just put you up to five. So, yeah, we have people being buried, of course. We have lots of farmland. We now have, like, fruit and veg coming in. Of course, the Dondorians love the amount of uh, fish we've got. Everyone else has mixed opinions, of course. But we'll get there. We'll get there. Just need to keep on growing our people. So, yeah, more statues and dead people, apparently. One teensy issue we are having, as I'm just watching people build statues, is that everyone keeps dying. We're back down to 469. Giggity. We had like 480 at one point. People just keep dying and they're very upset about coming back because we don't have enough people killed? People get really happy the more people they've murdered. What a weird group of people. Now I'm beginning to think these guys just need something better too, because right now, like, yeah, you can have access to feast halls, uh, you guys have access to feast halls, you guys have access to flat houses and the bath houses. In fact, we're going to up you to 100% as well, because you people just aren't doing well. And maybe we should give them clothing. Maybe they need clothing. It's just hard to say. Like, I don't really know what these people actually want, because they're actually very... Retirement age, 25. Okay, fine. Let's up the retirement age. So once they've worked half their life... Ugh. Who cares? We didn't enslave them. Yeah, always an option to enslave them. That would teach them. Now, I actually have it so Dundorians, whenever they want to join me, automatically join us. But for the Cretonians, who obviously are my major workforce, I have to let them in personally so that we don't suddenly get another four or five thousand when I'm not looking. So I'll always... No. Wait, 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 wait. 250 people have just retired. No, 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 no. See, this is why we don't have retirement age. Back to work. Half my people just retired. See, this is why we don't have retirement age. Oh, my gods. Now we're going to starve to death. Oh, I hate you people. Oh, why? Should not have raised it so high. Oh, no one gets to retire. Everyone dies in the army. New rules. 259 retired people. Can we just kill them? What am I going to do with that? That's half my entire city's retired now. What am I going to do with those numbers? Oh, the purge. We should have enacted the purge. Oh, my own problem. My own fault. It's time to start killing people. I, it's just, it, it, this is the way. Murdering. All the old, all the old <laughs> to save our food. This is the way. Oh.